Hello, hello. Hello, hello. God damn, what the fuck is going on? I've never had this issue before. Not for a very long time. Right now? Catching up. Hello! Blue was here. I am trying to fix sound at the moment. I do apologise. It is being weird. This was not meant to happen. Has that made it worse? Has that made it worse? The same? The fuck! <laughs> the fuck is going on? What in the hell is going on with you? It looks sick, doesn't it? Like, it's going to be a mint match. It looks sick, doesn't it? Like, it's going to be a mint match. <laughs> I can't get this fucking sound. Right, we're getting closer. Right, we're getting closer. No! It refuses to work with me! This is not ridiculous, but... <laughs> There's no way the delay can be that much. Right, okay. Now the sound's ahead of me. Right, okay, we're getting somewhere. Bear with me. Right, we're getting somewhere. Fixed now? Dear Lord! Come on!
So. Apologies, I'm fixing things. We're working on it. We're getting there. Right. Let's do some stuff here. That's that. That's that. That's that. What's browser for then? Wait! 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 Wait a minute! I might know what the issue is. No, 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 don't. Oh! <laughs> I think that as well. Well, it's way more in a minute. Hi, Black Heart. I am fixing sound issues because it's being a cunt. Hmm. <laughs> Being a cunt. Browser, look at it. 900 milliseconds. There's no way it's 900 milliseconds. <laughs> Fucking hell. We're working on it. We will have a stream. We will do this, right? But I've got to fight it right now. So, <laughs> bear with me, folks. I'm so sorry. We will fix this. If it kills me, I will fix this. Right. Right. Oh. What in the fuck? Hello. Oh. What in the fuck? Hello. Oh. My audio is behind my video. Okay. 
I am so, so sorry. I was not expecting this. This has not happened for a very long time. I don't understand why it's happening now, to be honest. Uh, right. The sound's out of sync. The sound's out of sync. I can't get it to match up. I can't get it to match up. Why is it so far behind? Like, massively behind. I'm trying to fix it and it's just being a dick. Like, massively behind. I'm trying to fix it and it's just being a dick. See? He's just jumped in his new, I'm really sorry. Uh, I don't even know how to fix this because this has never happened. <laughs> That's what I said. What is the delay? What is the delay? This is so bad. <laughs> I know you can, but I want to load this to YouTube. This is so bad. <laughs> oh, wait. I know you can, but I want to load this to YouTube. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> oh, wait. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> never give up never surrender right apologies to anybody who's new to the stream this is this has not been a common thing for a very 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 long time 
Hello, my name is Nemesis Paradox, aka Nemesis. Welcome to the stream <laughs> slash video, which is going to be on a YouTube. So, welcome any YouTube viewers. Now that shit sorted, shall we do this? Right. Dear God. Gotta bring up my match card again now. <laughs> oh, it took about 10 years to do, didn't it? I was looking to end the OBS stream and put it back on. I don't know how I did that exactly. I got you guys in the chat and they probably scared me off because everything broke. As you do. Alright, I apologise sincerely for that. Right, so yes. These are my predictions for Money in the Bank 2021 because I got money in the bank. Money, money, money. Money. You're a wizard, Harry. No, I'm not. I'm just Harry. I just need to reset the fucking thing. <laughs> right, okay. Let's load up the match card again, shall we? Fucking hell. Oh, God. <laughs> Nothing's ever perfect, is it? Right, so these are my predictions for Money in the Bank 2021. We will start with the order that it has it on the list here. So, Bobby Lashley versus Kofi Kingston. I love Kofi. I do. I love the New Day. I love all of it, right? But, A, Raw, what's got a, uh, a pin on Lashley, never a good sign. Because whatever happens on the show tends to be the opposite of what happens on the pay-per-view. Plus, as much as I love Kofi... I don't see them putting him over Lashley. I think they're going to bring another big boy out or something like that to go over Lashley. So, um, unless they do Goldberg, which if they do, fuck off. Just fuck off. No. Kofi will win a main title again, even if it's not the World Championship. But, um, in my opinion, Kofi is not going to win this one, unfortunately. I'd like to see him win this one, but I don't think he's going to take it. So, in my opinion, this one is going to Lashley. Um, I don't think they're going to follow up with Bobby and Drew for a while because I think with Drew, they're entering him into a uh, match or feud, sorry, with Jinder. So, because they're entering him into a feud with Jinder, I think they're going to, I think they've kind of listened to the fans on that and are stepping away from the whole Drew and um, Bobby thing. So I think for this one, it is going to be Kofi um, losing to Lashley. So my prediction for the World Championship match, sorry, WWE Championship match is Bobby Lashley. After that, we've also got the Universal Championship, Roman Reigns versus Edge. Oh, I love Edge, right? And I sincerely wanted Edge to take it. With the whole build up and how they were going with this and how they're running with this, I really, really, really wanted Edge to win this. But A, it doesn't look like Edge is going to be around for a while, which is good. But I don't think they're going to give this championship to Edge. I don't think they're going to let him go over Reigns. I think what they're doing is they're using him to push Reigns, which isn't that shocking. Edge is a legend. Edge, Edge deserves the legend title, absolutely. Like, Edge is one of my absolute favourites. Also my first crush. <laughs> well, in wrestling. Not my first not my first wrestler, but my first crush. Um, however, again, I don't see Edge winning this. I'd like to see him winning this. Again, he went over the Usos at um, the SmackDown. So from the looks of things, it's going to be Edge losing and Reigns retaining. Reigns is fucking wonderful to watch, so I am absolutely down for this. I really, really, really like uh, what they've done with Reigns. I think it's about time what they've done with Reigns. Whether he should have done it back then, everyone's going, well, they should have done it back then. No, 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 no. Not necessarily. 
I don't think Reigns had the skills back then to pull this off in the same way. Not that he wasn't good. He was good. But I don't think he had the mic skills and stuff like that and the confidence at that point. I think he's developed the skills to make him as good as he is now. And with Heyman there as well, who's just so good. Like, Heyman is one of my absolute favourite things in wrestling. That man can sell ice to the Eskimos. That man is a legend. That man is so good. He can push pretty much any wrestler, pretty much. Like, he tried. He tried so hard with Curtis Axel, but it was not happening. Whereas Reigns, Reigns was good enough, but he needed something not similar. But I think with Heyman being with Reigns... It's created this kind of, oh, well, if he saw something in Brock Lesnar, then he now sees something in Reigns, and that gives him a little bit more legitimacy. And then, obviously, Reigns has developed so much as well. I never saw Heyman on commentary with JR. I can imagine him being very, very good. Um, but, yeah, Heyman's just, he's wonderful. He's, he's just brilliant at everything that he does. He can sell anything. And I don't just mean as a salesman, I mean just in every single way. Like, he is so fucking good. Plus, he throws in a little shoot here and there, he knows how to work the crowd, like... That man is just fucking brilliant. And I, I will, I will... Just tout how amazing he is to the end of my days. Like, honestly, right, go check out his interview with Inside the Ropes. That is fascinating. That is really, really, really interesting and absolutely worth a watch if you get a chance. Um, it's a very interesting interview. He's pretty honest on it. Still manages to do the Heyman gimmick as well. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty certain that Heyman is just Heyman, in all honesty, but like, he manages to just hit both. And just honestly, if you get a chance, watch the Inside the Rope stuff. It is very, very interesting. Brock versus Angle. Also, I might have heard him on commentary then. A very long time ago, though. <laughs> so, probably. But I don't know if I saw that mania, because back when I was watching it, I wasn't able to watch the pay-per-views, like when I first started watching it. Because we were watching it on Sky One, which was a free-to-air channel, so I got to watch SmackDown when it was on in the mornings. Uh, so I didn't really get a chance to watch... Um, much WWE back there. Well, I got to watch SmackDown in the mornings, and I got to watch Heat, and I got to watch the Velocity. Got to watch them. Did not uh, on experience as well. Didn't get to see um, Raw or the pay per views because they were a Sky Sports exclusive thing. If you didn't have Sky Sports, you didn't get to watch them. Every now and then they threw a Raw onto free to air TV, but most of the time, yeah, you, you didn't get it. <laughs> you didn't get it. So. I am going for, oh, sorry, back to this match though, um, I am going for Reigns over Edge, but that's another thing as well. So it has been rumoured about Edge versus, for a while now, Edge versus Seth Rollins at SummerSlam. But there is also a little tease. Now this is something that is going to probably happen. Um, I don't know if it's going to be Seth doing it, but Seth did my time said, my time has come, my time is now in a backstage like thing between him and um Sonya and Adam. So I think um that is it all that is it's pretty much confirmed that Cena is going to be back. If he's not back at running the bank, which is highly unlikely with them teasing it so fucking soon because they're doing a lot, and I mean a lot of foreshadowing lately. So when they did the um, the tease for uh, da, 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 da. when they did the tease for Damien Priest going against having zombies as lumberjacks, that was teased because he said, "Bring me superstars, bring me aliens, bring me zombies. I don't care." And we got zombies. There's been other ones as well, but yeah. So it looks like. And apparently this has happened before as well when scene has been coming. Other wrestlers have quipped the time is up or time has come, time is now thing. So Cena coming back is pretty much guaranteed. 
Uh, yeah, apparently, his filming schedule as well, because he got asked about it, shouldn't conflict with him coming back as well, even though he is starting to film something else, I think, in August. Uh, but it looks like Cena will be back, if not at Money in the Bank, then definitely for SummerSlam. I believe it will be Money in the Bank, though, where he will make an appearance. Which could potentially be... Yeah, boy! Thank you for noticing. <laughs> I think Cena shows the SmackDown before SummerSlam and him and Roman go at SummerSlam. That is also a possibility. Um, I was like, hang on a minute, let me do something because give and receive and all that. Hang on. Uh, I make movements out of control because it is. Go give that man a follow. He knows his fucking stuff. If you think I sound like I know my stuff, I know my stuff, but he knows his stuff. He's also on YouTube as well. Go give him a follow. Go give him go just go check the dude out. He's he, he's just brilliant. <laughs> mm. And incredibly supportive as well. Will you win? I don't know, Cena. I'm not gonna lie. Probably not. <laughs> Because if the rumour that is true is that you're facing Reigns, probably not. No worries, Tom. <laughs> I, 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 it'd be interesting if you did, because fuck, if they do the Cena wins lol against Reigns, holy fuck, Twitter will explode. <laughs> and that will be funny as fuck to watch. <laughs> but... No, <laughs> you will lose. You will job out to Roman Reigns. <laughs> if not, oh my God, I can't wait to see the carnage. The carnage will be so much fun. But my opinion on this match is going to be um, Reigns is going to beat um, Edge. So moving on to the Raw Women's Championship, Ray Ripley versus Charlotte Flair. This it's a very interesting match because the first time Charlotte and Rhea faced each other, Charlotte won, took the NXT title off. But now that gets even more interesting because Rhea was not meant to lose. Rhea was meant to win and get a major push at that point. Rhea lost and that damaged her push like fuck. I am so glad that she won the title at Mania. Yes, okay, it steamrolled over Asuka, who, let's face it, her Mania stuff, right? All brilliant matches, but fuck, we don't like her winning at Mania, do they? <laughs> they do not like Asuka winning at Mania. Jesus. They've got a thing about that. I want to see a heel scene, but there ain't no way he's joining the bloodline. <laughs> and then we've got the Usos, but I'll talk about that in a minute. So, yeah, back to Rhea and Charlotte. So, Rhea, um, where was it? Yes, Rhea was meant to win at Mania. Thank you for following Welsh Dragon again. <laughs> Did you all follow me? How rude. How rude. All right. <laughs> I'm only joking. All right. That's where I was. So, Rhea and Charlotte. Ah, you're going to work again. <laughs> it's a kind of magic. It's a kind of magic. All right. So. No, Sasha, they don't like Sasha winning at Mania either, do they? They've got something about those two winning at Mania. They're just like, ha, no. <laughs> but. So there's interesting stuff going around. So there's some talk about a Charlotte Becky feud, so Charlotte potentially winning this match. Um, oh, back to Charlotte and Ray. Okay, so the last again, Charlotte and Ray have been feuding on Raw, with with um, with Raya having to use like little tricks against Charlotte to kind of beat her and stuff. And I I don't see. Charlotte winning this, and I know that sounds really fucking weird because Charlotte wins, lol. It's another one like Reigns wins, lol. Cena wins, lol. 
But in my opinion, I, I, I think that Rhea needs to run with this for a while. Plus, Rhea needs a win over Charlotte to make it somewhat level. So they can go, oh, like, we're like 1-1 one, one. <laughs> on championship matches. Plus, it's going to be like a payback and a payoff for what happened at Mania last year and blah, blah, blah. So it makes much more sense, especially because we're in the scene to be going in a much more like NXT, new generation kind of direction for Rhea to win this one. If Rhea does not win this one, I am going to be fuming because Rhea has needed this push, finally got the push, finally got elevated. And then got fucking dropped from it. And it, it's just tight as anything. Right? In my opinion, right, I do like Bianca. But Bianca has been rushed to the top. Right? They went, yes, you. You're, in it, you're on SmackDown for like a couple of months. And now you've won, and now you've won Rumble. And now you've won Mania. Blah, blah, blah. Whereas Rhea, like, she started to get that push, get that momentum, came up into the things it sort of went pretty much automatically into a feud with charlotte was meant to come on the main roster was meant to get pushed like that blah 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 and instead they just kind of drop her she doesn't even win the rumble none of it and it's like wow they fucking killed her push like majorly killed her push so raya needs to maintain this but I completely agree, Blackheart, right? They really, really, really do need to get her acting like a badass again because they have got her doing her promos in the WWE way again. So every single syllable is done like this so they can be WWE champion. And it's like, why? Do you know what, Dragon? That website exists. It is a real website, right? That website is genuine. But all it is, is the picture that you saw on SmackDown, that's all it is. I'll show you. Hang on. That's, hang on, when it wants to work. There you go. That is what the website is. But you can't do anything with it. It's literally just that. It's just a JPEG. However, in my opinion, they have missed a trick, right? I genuinely think that what they could have done with this was make it a charity donation website. So when you click on it, you click on the Corbin Fund me. It takes you to like, I don't know, Connor's Cure or something like that. And the people who went to who go to donate you can donate to a charity. And I really think that they missed the mark by not doing that with it. Because there will be people, there will be people out there who are like, go on then. Exactly, Tom. Ray on the main roster has been so disappointing. It's like I haven't even bothered watching Ray in NXT, NXT UK, or NYC. Yeah, like they're just... I'd be interested, I'm, I'm really going to be interested if Alexa wins this, because I want to see Alexa versus Rhea, because if they're going to do the Nightmare versus the, like, witchy girl thing, whatever the fuck we're trying to do with Alexa, because let's face it, whatever the fuck we're trying to do with Alexa is not working, right? They had so many opportunities. Rhea is sick. Rhea is fucking, like, goals, 100%. Like, I would love to have a body like her. She's fucking incredible. Alexa is my pick because I think she's a shock, but I'll I'll go into that when I get up to that match. They are rebranding him back to the main roster. I'm curious what they're going to do with that. I still want me Demon versus Fiend because I still think that would be fun. I've wanted Demon versus Bray for a long time. Alexa is okay. And don't take this the wrong way, but she bugs me because she wrestles like a girl. And I hate saying it like that, but like like a diva. And I don't mean that in a horrible way, but there's a really effeminate way 
of like wrestling women just seem to be like really careful with how they do moves and, 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 and stuff like that, which is more like what they used to do back in the diva days. I don't want you to be delicate and careful. I want you to beat the shit out of each other. I want you to fight. I want you to look like you're giving it your all. All right. I want your kicks to look like they actually fucking hurt. I don't just you slightly tapping on the shoulder. So even if that, even though that's how you basically do the move, sell it for fuck's sake. Sell it. Sell your hits as well as how you take hits. Those two are fucking important. And that majorly fucking matters. And I don't feel like Alexa does that. I feel like she can. And I feel like she does here and there. But I want to see her fight. Like, fight, fight. And she can. Lily, the idea is there, right? The little thing that they did with Shayna was interesting, okay? Like, Shayna sold that fucking story pretty well. And then it came to the match. And they had a match. No! I want fireballs! I want fucking cane shit going on! I want fucking... Demon Alexa, right? She's gonna be all this witchcraft and wizardry bollocks. Then fucking do something with it! I know it's gonna be harder to do that kind of stuff in front of an audience, because obviously you can't just cut away and keep cutting back. It's a bit more awkward. So I just wanna do the lights out thing. They just roll under the ring most of the time. So they can just pretty much just move from segment to segment with that. Lights out stuff. Easy. Fight out stuff is basic. But when it comes to stuff like that, like, it's not the same. Demon versus Fiend. <sighs> Nobody will win from it, but you might just get a good match. Like, I'd, I'd, I'd be interested to see, like, a cinematic match with that. I mean, I'm just a fucking gothic wrestling fucked up fan for that kind of stuff. I like that kind of shit. But it's always interesting when they do it. But I'm just interested to have that as a cinematic match. I do want to see The Fiend back. And I've seen you post that you wouldn't want The Fiend back. Not The Fiend. Uh, the Demon back. I want The Demon back. But I want it to be used right. I want it to be used the way it was used in NXT. Why do you feel like it would damage their careers? Like, that's a fantasy match. That's a dream match for sure. Lily is superior to the fiend. They're not doing anything with Lily though. I want to see more fucked up shit like what happened with ba with uh, Basler. I want to see where they fucking where she keeps turning up like during the match. She just sat in the corner or something like that. And the main roster is icky with the demon, and that's probably the best way to describe it. They don't. Why do you say it establishes him as a loser? Like. Majority of the time, he's won with that. But it, it's how they play it. If they don't play it correctly, then it's never going to work. Yeah, big match demon, exactly. Like, they bring him out when necessary. Okay, maybe not every pay-per-view, because you need to see that Finn can win them without becoming the demon. true and that's what i was trying to say there like you have to have the balance with it yeah no i see i see what you mean tom finn loses demon wins next thing yeah no no no, no i'll get you i get you but i think like if they do a balance so like i, I guess the demon could be classed as like Super Saiyan form in a way, so it's like the evolution. It's where like he absorbs like the powers of the demons. So like it would be interesting for them to do something like have I don't know money in the bank where Finn wins, have um, a championship match or a basic match where they where Finn wins, and then have Demon come out for like the big fucking feuds and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I can I can I can see where you're coming from. I, I can see where you're coming from with that. No, you're fine. You're absolutely fine. It's cool. Like it's it's passion. You want to see him do well. 
And I completely get that. I'm not, but I'm not against the demon, but I can completely see your perspective. So if they're going to use it, they need to use it right. So like, have matches where Finn wins as him and have more wins with him. If they balance out the win-loss record with the paint and not the paint, then it will make a lot, it would make a lot more sense. The demon is a, it looks amazing. It's cool how the how it can be used, but they need to use it right. Then you I can I, I agree with you, right? They need to make it so it's not just if he's got the paint on, then it's a winner automatically. He was champ with paint. Tom's right. So Tom, when whenever Finn won, he was the demon. When he lost, he was Finn. It's almost like the saying Finn as Finn it is weak. And I can I can I can I don't agree with it, but I understand what you're saying. See that would be that would be cool. I like that. I think the Fiend and Demon Balor as a group with the likes of being the ringmaster control and the demons, that would be quite kind of cool. I like that idea. Bit gimmicky. Yeah, Finn's a little bitch unless he's painted, and that is not fair on him. It's like going, well, he's, without the paint, he's fucking useless. So you need to get that balance of win-loss with the paint and without the paint. Like, use it for, like, an anger thing. So, like, when he's against, I don't know, I didn't mind it for Seth because they really, like, turned up the feud. That, yes. But, I don't know. Make him, I say, make him go for money in the bank and win his spin. Make him go for a um, championship match as 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 Finn and win that. Anything, even if it's just a US title match, like just something like that. Get the win loss record balanced between the two forms, or else Finn just looks like Finn. Although that could be a very interesting way to introduce it. So like, we have Finn have a match. Win is the demon. Bear with me. I better don't hate me yet. Win is the demon. And then the next time you could build up the feud by going, look, you can't win without that pain. You can't win without that on you. And then boom, boom, boom. So that would be a really good way to push Finn as Finn. I mean, it's been great what they're doing recently, the whole NXT thing of bringing him back as Prince. Oh, I was so happy when I read Prince. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> Prince Devitt. <laughs> <laughs> the little fucking fan of me was just like, oh my god, Prince Devin, yes. <laughs> Alexa isn't necessarily unbelievable. No, I don't see them doing it either, but it would be a great way for them to go forward with it. <laughs> Lily is the higher power. Lily is supposed to be more than what she is, but they're doing nothing with it. They need to fuck about with it a bit more. Make it like, I don't know, like the fiend, like, not the fiend, but like a demon in a doll's body. Make sure that somebody's knocked out and then just the doll is there and she's not, like, stuff like that. The way they're doing it now, they're wasting it. They, they really need to think of something to do with it or else it's just going to become another gimmick that's going to disappear. I mean, if, if they make um, Alexa... I don't know, like, potentially start going back to being Alexa and then kind of mess about with it when um, The Fiend comes back. Alexa is a, a great talker. Like, she's got sass and she's got attitude. Like, she, I, like I said, not the biggest fan of her actual wrestling. I like her flippy stuff and blah, 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 blah. But, like, her, like, actual strikes, not huge on. But, yeah, she she knows how to speak. She's very, very good at her in-ring promos. Like, I, I can't deny that. She's very good at that. I'd be intrigued to see it for a little while. Hang on. Let's skip that, because that... Riff sounds so much like I gave rock and roll to you. I don't know what I'd like to see you doing. Tell you what else has pissed me off with Alexa lately. The whole Nikki Cross thing. 
they've been with each other in the ring for the last few rows and there has been nothing nothing about their feud nothing about how they fell out no one ne- neither character shall we say neither wrestler seems asked about it what the fuck is that yeah almost a superhero which people are like nah about and honestly i love the sanity nikki i like her as the crazy fucking mental one now she seems like a bit of a geek which is fine but it just doesn't feel very nikki but at the same time though she wanted to do that this was her suggestion this was her choice so this is what nikki wanted to do so i like, think you can't argue with the girl she wants to do it she wants to have fun with it she seems like she is that's fine great go for it but um i would be interested to see them like it's in your let me restart that so what they're doing with it is kind of yeah she did come up with it so like you can't you can't go hey you can't do that i don't think it's going to ruin her career because, I mean, this is what people have said, like, it's very much like Molly Holly, Super Molly. Um, uh, hurricane kind of thing. That's another foreshadowing that they did. They called um, Nikki Cross uh, their little hurricane. The WWE's resident hurricane on commentary. So that was another foreshadowing for Nikki becoming a superhero. You can call this. I think she might have been released this time next year since so she was called through. I've had no idea what to do. Yeah. Like, they, they kind of stuck it with Alexa because they were like, fuck it. There's something to do with her. And then they had her with them for a while. And then that also felt because of the Fiend thing. And that's fine. But then they were like, what are we doing with her now? And they just kind of left it to one side. Because I was sure night, it was crazy. Nothing else. Alexa and Nikki asked the team up. Oh, but. Fair enough, that's fair. I did not know that. That's okay, that's cool. Um, well, I think they like working with each other, then that's cool. I mean, like they did work well together as a team. And they seem to get along pretty well. But I would, I, I don't know. We need a program for Nikki, really. Just because it's the naughties, though, doesn't make any difference, though. It can still work in this day and age. In fact, if anything, it can work in this day and age even more with the, like, Heights of, I don't know, like Marvel and DC and that lot really like taking off. You absolutely have the chance to be able to do that. Like you can totally make that something. A bit too geeky, kind of. I do think it's a partnership. Look like we're heading back that way eventually. That could be fun. Maybe. I don't think they're going to do it yet. If they do do it, maybe she'll get like hypnotized or something. I feel like that's the only way they're going to do that at the moment because they need to sort out a what came before with the whole breakup split thing and they need to sort out what happened what's going on with the whole alexa thing and work out where that's going forward so like that's another thing as well with the alexa thing like what are they doing with this whole hypnotizing thing because apparently she can hypnotize people and make them do what she wants i mean that could be an interesting thing as well something like she hypnotizes nikki Nikki ends up doing like the kind of stuff for her and breaks out of it, all superhero like rising kind of thing. That could be interesting. It interviews Nikki so I can go with Batman and Joker thing between the likes. Oh, wait, hold up! Didn't didn't Batman have a thing of oh, Harley Quinn? Yeah. I mean, if they go for the Harley Quinn thing, we might be in trouble. <laughs> I mean, I'd be. I mean, I don't think either of that way, considering I know that she's with Kelly and still, isn't she? But, well, Damon now, about to be in Big Damon, which makes me so happy, I'm not going to lie. I think fucking wasted Kelly and Damon in WWE as well. But. The Batman and Joker thing. I don't know how they're going to run that, though, because again. Alexa's got nothing established right now. And with Alexa having nothing established, what are you going to do with it? (laughs) No, because I 
I was thinking Batman and Harley Quinn, and I was like, wait. <laughs> that was a whole different thing. <laughs> But again, they need to establish. They need to establish, and it's just they're not got anything in place properly. I mean, it's going to take time to see where they're going to go with it, but give them chance. Right? Where were we with these matches? I can't remember what match we're talking about now. Do do do. do. Right, Ray versus Charlotte. I start a lot of things. If it happened, just blame me. Lily made me do it. Right, yeah, I'm, I'm back, I'm back, I come back, I'm back. So, yes. Like, see, Rhea versus uh, Alexa Feud, if they do it interestingly. I know it is the Nightmare versus, like, the witchy thing, which could work. If not, I'm okay with it. I'd be intrigued to see how she would cash in the Money in the Bank briefcase to turn the character. That might help to get character development as well. So, mm, there's, a, there's a few things that could go with this. However... Winner for this match, I am going to go for Rhea. I don't think they're going to do the constant Charlotte is the nemesis that she can never beat. I think they're going to give it Rhea. I really hope that they do. Men's winning the bank ladder match. I am fucking looking forward to this one. This looks so good and this is going to have some amazing spots. This is going to have some fucking great spots and the lads are just going to go at it. We have got Ricochet, Ricochet versus John Morrison, Johnny Drip Drip, Riddle, Drew McIntyre, Big E, Kevin Owens, Shinsuke Nakamura and Seth Rollins. Now that is a lineup just in general for a regular pay-per-view, right? In like individual matches or separate matches. But fuck, all together, holy crap. That is going to be a fucking great match, right? They're going to go at it. They're going to blend into spots so fucking seamlessly. They're going to do some absolutely fucking crazy shit, and you know it. Ricochet, thank fuck he's finally being pushed. How long did it take? Ricochet is so good. Ricochet is a fucking ninja, right? That man needs so much more praise than he gets. And I know he's a flippy boy, but I love the flippy boys, right? And him and Morrison have been working some fucking great matches on Raw. They have been doing some really, 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 really good matches on Raw. Oh, I'm not thinking that he's going to win. <laughs> I'm just happy that he's finally getting a like, spotlight kind of thing on him rather than just being Cedric's mate. And Apollo's mate, and that dude wandering around the back, just like Damien Priest, who is getting wasted so much. I really want them to do something with Damien Priest. Damien Priest is getting nothing. He's been in gimmick matches, and then he's just been wandering around backstage, and he's just like, no, because now he's turned into the drifter. <laughs> Give him something to do, please, for the love of God. Yeah. Damien is very fucking talented, very fucking good. His strikes are beautiful, and they do nothing. Which match do you think will suck? But Damien Priest, please do something with Damien Priest. At least get him some, I don't know, the US Championship actually make that happen. Give him the fucking championship. Make him reign. Make him do something with it. Because there is potential there, but fuck. I, with a lineup like that, there is no chance that that match is going to suck. Well, there's always a chance to be weak, but I think the lads are going to put on a show. I think it's going to be very, very interesting. So, uh, Morrison and Ricochet, I don't know about winning this. I think they pushed him mostly because they're flippy boys and they can get that kind of like. High flying kind of stuff going on Raw to kind of build up to W to Money in the Bank to get you like really hooked and really interested. Um, Drew, I think they're entering into something with Jinder, so I think they're finally starting to pull back a bit on the whole Drew going for it. Um, 
Shinsuke, I don't know what they're doing with this Corbin thing. I think, I think they're bringing it to an end. I think they're closing it now. So I'm pretty certain that Shinsuke's... I'd like to see Shinsuke with this. That would be really fucking cool. Come in with his fucking king entrance and shit. Go back to that kind of stuff. Which he needs to do. That would be so cool to do his wrestling kingdom entrances. I don't think they're going to give a drink. Big E's another one that's been talked about. I don't think they're going to give it Big E. I don't know what they're doing with Big E. There was talks of him rejoining the New Day. But I don't know if that's happening. I'd be happy to see him rejoin the New Day. Because they definitely, like, work as an advantage to each other. And Rollins, right. Rollins ain't winning this. Apart from the fact that there's a potential feud heading there between Seth and Ed and Seth and... Um, or Seth and Cena. Probably not Cena, but... It, uh, the little foreshadowing, maybe, but very, it's unlikely, but possible. Um, especially considering they've already kind of teased it on SmackDown with Edge um, having a little banter, I guess. A little trash talk back. Rollins is not getting it. Rollins had a major hype package. Major hype package on SmackDown going, he cashed it in this time, he did this, he did that, he did that. And then he won the Fatal 4-Way on SmackDown as well. There is no chance. There is no chance. He is not getting that. <laughs> oh, you really miss your emotes, don't you, Dragon? No, he, he's being overhyped to win. When somebody gets overhyped to win, they're not going to win. So, at least majority of the time. So, that being said, I haven't covered somebody yet, and that's Riddle. Riddle is not doing anything right now. Not really. We've got this whole RK Bro thing, which is going nowhere. It started, it's building, and it's meant to be that Riddle can do this without Randy. Randy's not here. Riddle wins the briefcase. Riddle can turn around to Orton and go, look what I did, bro. Look what I did. Blah, blah, blah. Sets shit up. So you know where I'm going. My prediction for this is Riddle. Because I think that's where they're going with it. Because so far, this storyline has stuttered and gone nowhere. And I think they're either going to end up cashing in for the tag titles. That is much more far-fetched. But possible. Or... Well... I don't think that's going to take it from him, but it might create a feud. The tag team isn't quite working. He's taking him under his wing. They've kind of ended up more mocking each other. or it's getting more and more pissed with him. But we're also going for like an odd couple thing. Or there's all this stuff of like... He could do some very interesting things with the case. Hopefully they're not going to do things with the case like they did with Otis, because fuck. Although Otis, right, is looking so good lately. Oh, the way they... Right, I wasn't happy with them taking the case off him. But I think what they've done by doing this Alpha Academy thing and making him seem more legitimate and fierce is what he needed to break out of the whole... Um, also what I'm looking for is what he needs to break out the whole like oh he's just the comic relief oh he's just a funny guy it's propelling him so he sees like a legitimate threat <laughs> he probably is going to be always piped but they're not going to do it like that they're probably going to do something similar to Otis a little bit 
Uh, it's probably where he keeps all his whoppers, if we're going with the whole Burger King references. However, I am thinking that Riddle will take this. I would be, though, really fucking happy if, if Seth got it, because I seriously want a feud between Seth and Reigns, because all that savagery in one ring will be fucking beautiful to watch. It revisits the whole shield thing, so they've got something to build up. Blah, 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 blah. But fuck, I really want to see it. <laughs> I, they are both on form with their savagery lately, and it would be sick to watch them just try and bounce that off each other. But, three for starters, don't like doing heel versus heel or face versus face. They're very funny about it. Not unless it's like a little match on Raw. <laughs> or a little match on SmackDown. However, with Seth already heading into a feud, potentially, and Reigns, don't know who they're actually going to get to kind of do that with him. I'm genuinely thinking Riddle. I think Riddle might take the briefcase. Right, women's winning the bank ladder match. Asuka versus Naomi versus Alexa Bliss versus Nikki Cross versus Liv Morgan versus Zelina Vega versus Natalia versus Tamina. <laughs> I'm enjoying watching the chat, it's fucking funny, right? <laughs> Hang on a second. Alright, cool. Ah! Right, I'm back. So we've already touched... Oh, <laughs> I'm just watching what you guys are typing is going to be in the box coat of Red Mountain Chew, Doritos, fucking pipes, bongs, fucking <laughs> everything's going to be in that box. That briefcase is going to be bursting. Bro. Right. Now, we've already touched on the women's ladder, ladder match, and we've already mentioned about Alexa. Now, I've already mentioned that Alexa is also my pick as well. Because I think she's... Right. With the women's, for me, it is between Naomi and Alexa. Asuka won it last year. They don't really tend to like doing repeat stuff. I think they're trying to, like, end... Her being part of the whole Charlotte, like, Rhea feud for now, or at least step back from it. I don't think Asuka's going to take it again. Although one thing that really pissed me off, I think it was on Raw that they said it, like, Asuka knows what it's like to hold the briefcase and, you know, wait for that moment. It's like, no, she doesn't. She won the briefcase and they're going to give the title belt the next night. No, she does not know about it. <laughs> She does not know nothing about it. <laughs> She's won it once and then got the title from it. Liv is not winning this. Again, it's the whole... You can see she's kind of entering into something with Carmella. You can see that she's building towards something like... She's getting a push, absolutely, and she deserves it. She needs one. A little bit of the same issues I have with Alexa. She can be a bit like... So I'm looking for overly safe. I call it girly and I hate calling it girly because a lot of women do not fight girly, I can tell you that. But I, she, at the end of SmackDown this week, she stood there pointing up at the briefcase going smiling and stuff. So again, she's probably not going to win it. If she does, granted, shock, but unlikely. Um... Nikki, I think she'll get close. I think she'll get close to getting it. But I think they'll play it to the whole almost a superhero thing. So I don't think Nikki's taking it. Oh, Liv versus, Liv versus Lena or Liv versus Carmella, like, properly, is going to happen. Like, Liv has already done the whole Carmella thing and... 
beat her and blah, 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 to get into the money in the bank thing. And yeah, okay, so that's technically been done. They may still revisit it. Although I don't know if it's going to be something similar to what's happened with Morrison and Ricochet, where basically this feud is happening just to propel the money in the bank stuff because they like to put in um, mini feuds, that those mini feuds can happen in the middle of the match. And it can be like, oh my God, these two have had problems with each other for the last few weeks. So I think that, hang on. Let's skip that one because that starts talking about something I don't really want covering on this. I think that <clears throat> I don't think they're going to push Selena yet. Or there is a chance of Selena as well, so that she can look like a force to be reckoned with now that she's back again. And potentially be a little thank you for her coming back as well. So it's a little bit like I don't know. It's it's Harley versus Tamina at the tag champs. Now, you could argue that having one of them win the money in the bank could end up creating like a whole Miz and Morrison thing like they did when Miz had the money in the bank. Or it will create a split for Natalia and Tamina and give them a feud. However, I don't see that happening. I think they're going to stay tag champs for a while. To be honest, I don't know how much I agree with them being in the Money in the Bank thing in the first place because of the fact that they are the tag champs and I feel like the tag, every championship should be on a pay-per-view. They are your championships. They are your fucking, like, big fucking gold fucking represent them. <laughs> I'm just reading the chat. <laughs> you guys have read all of it. Uh, you also you want Bins to book an hour-long staring contest between Delina Baker and Liv Morgan. <laughs> Anyways, yes, right, that's what I was saying. So Natalia and Tamina, Tamina, Natalia and Tamina, I, I, I have this thing about championships, right? Two things. One, you should never be on your pre-show, ever, right? Your pre-shows should just be a little match to tease, but be big enough on the card so that, that way it'll get people in to watch it. Don't put your fucking championships on there. Because your championships are the most important things in that company. They're the thing that everybody is fighting for. Right? Your pre-show, most people don't watch it. But having a little match on there is nice to make you kind of like want to watch it and feel like you might be missing out on something. So I understand why they put them on there, but they should not be on there because they are supposed to be prestigious and high value and sticking them on the pre-show devalues the championship in my opinion. Also, not having it on the on, on the on the pay per views. Again, it's like these are what everyone is gunning for in the company. These are the matches that you want to see. Having the odd title match on SmackDown and Raw is fine, but your big fucking pay per views are where they should be, and it's where they should always be. So, in my in my personal opinion, I do not like it when they're not on the show. They're meant to have significance. They're meant to have importance. Give them the significance. Give them the importance. How are you going to do that? Have it on your big show. Having it being the thing that people are challenging for. Having it, having it making people want to win it at that pay-per-view. Build it up. Make it big. <laughs> That's fair, Dragon. So... Natalia and Tamina, no, I don't think either of them is going to get it. Um, Morgan, I'd like to see, but it's very unlikely. Alexa is a shock win. Like, people probably aren't expecting her to win it. I don't know how she's going to win it, and if she does win it, then that will be a very interesting thing as well, to see how they're going to play that. Or if you're even going to do anything relating 
to that. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> <Dying here. coughs> it's not the COVID, by the way. It's just, oh, I'm hot. Because <laughs> I'm so fucking hot. I, I can't. Ooh. Mate, if they do that where she looks and it flies down to her, then I am fucking, like, probably never watching WWE ever again. Like, ever again. <laughs> Just fuck no. Um, ask her, again, I think we're pulling her out of this. Um... So it's between Naomi, Alexa, and Kain. I don't know. I'm torn on so many of them because Naomi, they need to give us something to do, especially since they dropped her from Lana. Alexa is a kind of shock win-ish. Um, Nikki, almost a superhero, kind of pushes the whole superhero thing. And Zelina gives her like a kind of thank you for coming back and it's gonna she's gonna be great at cutting promos for it and blah blah blah. But I'm still sticking with Alexa. I still think that Alexa is going to get it because I think they want to push her but they don't know what to do with her. I think it's shit on Naomi if she doesn't win it because they need to give some Naomi something to do because she's currently doing nothing. She's pretty much just floating around at this point. I, I want to see him do something with her, but right now they're doing nothing with her and they need to. So, yes, we're open to Alexa Bliss for the win on this one. Right. Two matches we'll have to talk about, but I really need the loot. So, give me two minutes.
Right, I'm back. Okay, so. Double check shit. Last two matches. <clears throat> right. Oh, let's see, let's have a look. It does not want to load. The Tag Team Championships. So AJ Styles and Omos versus the Viking Raiders. Now, this is very interesting as well. So on Raw, I can't remember which one, but one of them pinned AJ and won. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, one of them pinned AJ and won. One of them pinned Omos and lost. Now, I think with these Tag Team Championships... They've given them to AJ and Omos at WrestleMania for two reasons. One, they wanted AJ on the card. They didn't know what to do with him, so they put him in this. They wanted him a high-profile match, so they gave him the Tag Team Championship match. Why the hell not? Plus, they wanted to do something with Omos. <clears throat> so they gave Omos this. So, they wanted to push him at Mania, so they gave him this as well. However, the Viking Raiders have not been on for a very long time. Now, maybe they need to build up before they win it, but we've also got Jinder's boys looking for something to do as well. Now, obviously, they're using them to beat down on um, Drew along with um, Mason T-Bar. Now, Mason T-Bar... Uh, interesting. I don't think we'll do anything with them for a while. I think it's funny that when uh, Dio turned up as me, so like, who is this guy? Who is this guy? What you mean that like nearly like that really fucking tall guy with dreads who was on commentary with you for like months? You don't recognize him at all. Not even a little bit. Come on. <laughs> There's no way you don't recognize it. That's Dio. But. Then you could enter into something with Jinder's boys with AJ and Amos to push, put them over being stronger than AJ and Amos. So there is a chance that AJ and Amos could retain, but it would give the Viking Raiders a push now at the back and put the Viking Raiders back on the map after the stuff they were doing with the Street Profits, which I thought was fun. One thing you can do in wrestling that you can't do in like most of the like theatre or sports or anything like that is have some really wacky shit and it just be like, ah, it's just part of the show. Not all of it, obviously, but majority of the time, yeah. So I think that there is a chance that the Viking Raiders may take this. I think that that is what they're going to do with it. I think that they like having AJ and Amos being champions. I think that they have this whole thing of Amos um, being like unstoppable. I think, though, that if they are going to win, Amos isn't going to be the one getting pinned. Unless they do like a double pin on him. I think what's going to happen is that AJ is going to get pinned by one of them and somehow they're going to take out Omos together. So my opinion on this is that the Viking Raiders will get the championships. It, that is not guaranteed. There is very much a chance that they might use AJ and Omos to repel um, Jinder's boys. But I think that the Viking Raiders are going to win. Especially with them getting the last loss on Omos. I think they're going to find some way to take him out. Keep Omos looking strong. And then have AJ be the one pinned. Because AJ is going to look strong no matter what. Right? Unless they start doing to him what they do to Jeff Hardy. Don't even get started on the whole Jeff Hardy bullshit. Just don't. As a really fucking long conversation. Um, I genuinely believe that. AJ is very difficult to knock down from like. 
the pillar that he's on. He's way too mm-hmm. high on the pedestal. So, excuse me, my stomach's really hurting. Um, RBS is kicking in, so apologies. I think that AJ and Amos are going to lose the titles and the Viking Raiders are going to take it. Mysterios versus the Usos. Right. I would love, and I mean, I would fucking love to see the Usos get it and have just like a dominant bloodline with Reigns. But in my opinion, I don't think that's going to happen. I think they're going to have it as a stepping stone for a feud with Reigns looking down the Usos for that loss, that loss, that championship for the loss, money in the bank for the loss, money in the bank for the loss, money in the bank. I think they're going to have that because they're already starting to show cracks and show Jimmy and Jay do that. The other option is that they might have Jimmy and Jay win. Thing is, though, hello, Steve, you all right? Um, the thing is, though, I think that with the, the other issue that we've got is that I think the Rui's going to be kind of pissed off with Jay, right, Jimmy right now with the... With what happened. Uh, if you don't know, he got arrested for a DWI, I think. Um, obviously, he got released and blah, 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 blah. But we are not going to be happy about that. Look at how he reacted with Jeff and his like DWI before he came back. I think you're going to be better, Arthur. Sorry. I'm all right. I'm... Um, Ranting about wrestling, so I'm good. Um, so yeah, um, I was that. Uh, yes, so WWE is not going to be happy with Jimmy one little bit. So I genuinely believe that Jimmy is not Jimmy and Jay. I don't think they're going to win it. Also, again, classic pay per view stuff. Now, a lot of, sometimes, sometimes, though it's not AEW. Sometimes what happens on the thing before can be like misleading and try and make it so that you think that that isn't going to happen and it does. But a lot of the time, the structure is a certain way. So the, the Mysterios ended up beating the crap out of the Usos. Oh, it was in prediction. I'm talking about the last match, y'all. I'm now talking about the last match. <laughs> Hello again, Anna. Um, so, yeah. Um, Jimmy and Jay, I don't think, are going to get it. There is a chance because of the fact that Edge and Ray and Dom ended up going over them and like all three of them went over them. So it might be too misleading for all three of them to wait. Actually, no, wait. Oh, the Mysterio's got knocked down by the Usos. Sorry, my bad. I was fucking touting that. No, sorry. The Mysterio's got knocked down by the Usos uh, thing, and then Edge ended up going over Roman Reigns. So, ah, it's fine. Don't worry. So, um, Mysterio's are more likely to retain. There is a chance of the Usos getting it, but personally, I don't think that that is going to be what happens. I think the Mysterios are going to retain the championships. Then with all the gold would be sick, like a full like championship bloodline, very much like the Shield when they were in their most dominant phase, when they had the, um, the tag championships in the US. Something like that would be very fucking cool, but I don't think they're going to do it. I think more than anything, they're pissed off. They're going to be pissed off with Jimmy as well. So I mean, if they were going to win, I don't know if they're going to be happy with that. We might even see Jimmy get written off at some point. That's not guaranteed, right? But we know what they're like with wrestlers who end up getting DWIs and DUIs and blah blah blah. They are very fucking like mm, about it. So, in my opinion, I am going for the Mysterios retaining. That's not guaranteed. 
But that is my pick. The last, it's funny though, because the last time I did betting on wrestling, like you can bet on pay-per-views here and there, was the Rumble not last year, the year before. I think it was the Rumble. And I got 14 out of 15 matches correct. So, <laughs> running through the card, these are my predictions. For one final rundown. WWE Championship match, Bobby Lashley versus Kofi. I am going for my pick. My, yeah, my pick is Bobby Lashley. I'd love to make this work. Come on. Raw Women's Champ. I oh, was sorry, Universal Championship. Roman Reigns versus Edge. My pick, Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. Raw Women's Championship. Rhea versus Charlotte. My pick, Rhea. Money in the Bank ladder match. Ricochet versus John Morrison versus Riddle versus Drew McIntyre versus Big E versus Kevin Owens versus Shinsuke Nakamura versus Seth Rollins. My pick, Riddle. Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Asuka versus Naomi versus Alexa Bliss versus Nikki Cross versus Liv Morgan versus Zelina Vega versus Natalia versus Tamina. My pick, Alexa Bliss. Raw Tag Team Championship, AJ Styles and Omos versus the Viking Raiders. My pick, Viking Raiders. SmackDown Tag Team Championship, Mysterios versus Usos. My pick, the Mysterios. That is what I'm going for. Oh, there's a lot of names on the card, it's a good list. But that is my, like, boom. That is my choices. I could be very fucking wrong. If that does happen, then the only championship that would be changing hands would be the Raw Tag Team Championship. Everybody else would retain. Little bonus predictions. Lashley versus Kofi Kingston. No, I don't have one for that one. Da -da -da -da. Rhea versus Charlotte, potential DQ. Unlikely, I don't they'll do that at pay per view, but potential DQ. Ah, I, I, I can't tell you about the last three. Pick a number, any number. <laughs> Ricochet and John Morrison are going to do a spot. Drew is going to have, sorry, um, Owens is going to do something with. Like everyone, probably. Seth is going to do something with Shinsuke. Because of the whole Cesaro thing. Um, so there could be some interesting interference in that match. But yeah, I think that Miz is going to get involved somehow as well. Uh, women's money in the bank. I think Alexa's going to do something. I don't know what. Nakamura is not my pick, but I would be happy to see him win. Uh, they may finally do something with the whole Alexa and Nikki thing. Liv and Zelina are absolutely going to have a spot. I don't know if it's going to be an hour staring contest. <laughs> <laughs> but they're going to have a spot somewhere. Uh, Natalia and Tamina are obviously going to have a spot somewhere as well. Um, Oscar and Naomi might do something just to throw something in there. Because they're two cards in there, but two rests that don't really have any particular feud with any of them. AJ Styles and Almost. I believe that AJ is going to be the one who gets pinned to keep Almost looking strong. And the Mysterios versus the Usos. Not really got anything special for that one. I'm well, you're a casual. <laughs> 
But yeah, so it's going to be an interesting pay per view. That is for certain. I think Riddle might do. I think there's a good chance that he might do something like that. Or he might do the DDT, like the double DDT, you know, from the ropes. So that's also a possibility. Or I might do a chicken wing if I do that. But he might do the double DDT and just smash him on, like, onto like a ladder or something. That's not guaranteed. That's just me just throwing shit out there right now. But that's just fantasy booking. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Right, before I wrap up. Oh, thank you, Blackheart. Yes. Cena will either show up at Money in the Bank or SummerSlam. Cena has already been teased. Cena has been mentioned. If he is not at this pay-per-view, he will either turn up either on the Raw after or the SmackDown after just to... I feel like more of the SmackDown after because it's talk of Reigns versus Cena. So there's going to be like, he's, he might turn up on SmackDown. If he turns up on Raw, possibly, because this is the first Raw back in front of fans, is the Raw after Money in the Bank. So maybe Raw, but I would imagine it's more going to be that. Goldberg, I'm not sure. Goldberg, I don't think he's going to turn up on Money in the Bank. If he does, he's going to be cutting a promo and fucking off. Right, my opinion with Goldberg is going to turn up on some Raw in between. Me, probably, because they're in the light to set up the main events. They will go for um, let uh, sorry, Goldberg. They will go for Goldberg showing up probably on the Raw after to challenge Lashley because again, it's going to be Spear versus Spear. Even though we haven't seen Lash, we'll do a proper spear for a while. Yeah, like just... Oh, he's going to go Lashley or next on the Raw after and then fuck off or might interrupt like the main event or something. It's Goldberg, it's what he does. He fucks up, he comes, he turns up like five minutes and fucks off. Um, Cena, yeah, Cena's out of... I feel like what they might do is they might do Goldberg on the Raw and Cena on the SmackDown. Possibly. Unless Cena does like a promo at in the bank or something like that, or they build something up towards it. Um so yeah, that's that's money in the bank. <laughs> that's how I'm picking it. That's like what I want. If you want to know what I want. If I have a choice and who wins, like if I'm not going off like who I think will win, if I'm going off who I want to win, Lashley versus Kofi, Kofi, Kofi needs another run. Kofi got wasted with the whole Lesnar thing. Kofi deserves another fucking run at that. I don't think he's going to run over Lashley, but I do think that he deserves another title run. Because how he got wasted with Lesnar was fucking shit. Uh, Reigns versus Edge. I'd love to see Edge do it. It would be the climax to this whole comeback story that he's doing. It would be a perfect fit. Would have been better for it to happen at Mania, but I'm fine with it happening here. Like this, the, the triple threat that match between him, Daniel Bryan, all that was really fucking good. Like the way they made put Reigns over is like the ultimate heel and the company by putting them both was excellent. Um, it was really fucking good booking. It was perfect. It was really good for it. It was a great Mania match. It was a great match, just hands down. So I agree with, uh, but I would still like to see Edge get the title. Cena's like making a crazy. There's a movie out. Right. Cena's um, filming schedule as well ties up with him coming back. The boys said that it won't interfere with him being at SummerSlam. So he's pretty much guaranteed for SummerSlam. Well, that's, that's pretty much the point in Goldberg at this point. Goldberg is one of the guys who puts people over. He's not there to be put over. He, he did with Lesnar. I think that was just because they wanted to build him up against Lesnar, which was shit on KO. A whole different fucking story, though, because they shit on KO in that Universal Championship match. Beating in eight seconds is bullshit. Well, it was eight seconds. It was something along those lines, but it was crap. Um... 
I'm fine with him being built up. I'm not okay with him going over KO the way that he did when KO had barely had even had a run with that championship. Um, Rowan championship, yes, love to see Ripley keep it. I fucking love Rhea. I think she's really fucking good. She needs to go back to how she used to cut promos though, and stop doing it the WWE way because it makes it sound fake and it makes it sound shit. The ladder match, I think Riddle is adorable. It's hard to fully love him when you hear about what potentially happened during the speaking out movement, which kind of makes me go, ooh. But I do like Riddle's character. He's very sweet. Um, thank you for following. Weren't you already following? <laughs> There's another thing I've been for, like... All right, <laughs> magic tricks. Cool. <laughs> oh, you won. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. <laughs> uh, Ricochet. All right, money in the bank ladder match. Ricochet versus John Morrison versus Riddle versus Drew McIntyre versus Biggie versus Kevin Owens versus Shinsuke versus Seth. Right. They have done the Drew thing. They have done the Kevin Owens thing. Like those stories have run their course. So, no. Rollins would be interesting because I want to see him have a feud with Reigns. I think the savagery would be fucking lit. But I don't think they're going there. However, I would like to see that. Um, but he's not who I'd want to win because he's already had it. And the way he cashed it in was beautiful. And you can never really top that. But it would be cool to see him get that again. But it's your magic trick. Got it. Um... Ricochet, I'd love to see him get a push. Morrison deserves more than what he gets because he's just put as a comic relief sidekick. I actually can't wait until Miz and Morrison finally fall out and we get a proper match between them both and Morrison gets built up. Because Johnny Mundo, Johnny Impact, Johnny Johnny Retro, he's good. Like, he's really fucking good, but they make him just look overly comic relief. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I am looking forward to seeing what, what they all do in this match. There's going to be some amazing spots. If nothing else, even if the winner isn't who any of us want, Johnny Retro, that match is going to be sick. That match is going to be fucking awesome. Yeah, so, like, Ricochet and Morrison have gone there for a while. I think the kind of, again, I think that was just hype for Money in the Bank. However, I would like to see Ricky Gachet get a push. But I'd like to see him just kind of start a little bit of momentum first. Just to get him back in the title picture. So I'd like to see him either get the Intercontinental or the US for now. And then build him up to the main like event scene. Um, Morrison, I want to see him get built up. But I feel like if you point with the whole Miz thing that happened last year, it's just going to be a repeat. Or you could have an interesting view between Miz and Morrison build from that because Miz wants the briefcase again. I don't know. But then again, Miz is supposedly injured. I don't know how legitimate that is. Um, Big E needs a push. But he's going back to the New Day. I'd like to see him about the New Day because they're kind of doing some stuff with him on his own, but not enough. So, who I would like to see win is Shinsuke. Because Shinsuke has pretty much disappeared from every scene. He's not really doing anything. He's doing the King thing, which is great. I don't feel like he would win over Reigns if he cashed it in. That would be my only concern. Because if he cashed in the money in the bank and lost it again, that would not look good. And it would potentially drop Shinsuke even further down, which could look worse. So I would like to see Shinsuke win, but I don't know if I want to see him do that or get a championship. Morrison's at this current moment in time probably have fucking water on it. 
Um, because apparently he's the most moist wrestler in the d- don't just know. Uh, I was saying Shinsuke, but actually, I feel like they'd make him lose. So I don't think I actually want to see him win that. But Ricochet just gets stung. But Shinsuke, I think, is who I'd want to see him get it. Moist. <laughs> uh, women's running the bank ladder match. Asuka versus Naomi versus Alexa Bliss versus Nikki Cross versus Liv Morgan versus Selena Vega versus Natalia versus Tamina. Right. Natalia and Tamina are currently tag champions. I don't want to see them get it yet. I would like to see a bigger push for Tamina and move her higher into the main event scene, but not yet. Liv Morgan, yes, at least she comes out looking strong in this match. I will be happy. Push straight into a title scene. No, I think we need to build up for a story yet. Um, Asuka, she's had it for she had it. She pretty much got the belt off it. I'd like to see her have a build up thing where you could feel like she could like cash in at any point. But not again, not yet, not this close after the feud. Um, and being so involved in the feud as well. Alexa, I think they need to develop her character more before she really does anything with it. I think there's some potential for some interesting stuff, but she's not really who I'd like to see get it. Not yet. Nikki, yes, I love Nikki. I don't know if she's ready for the main championship with the way that it is now, although it could be a great superhero story. So I would potentially go with her. My three that I would like to see get it are Nikki, Naomi, because fuck's sake, give her something to do. She's fucking good. And Zelina, because I think Zelina will cut some fucking great promos with it. And she can seem like she's really intimidating with it. I would be happy for that. Uh, AJ Styles versus the Viking Raiders. I'd like to see the Viking Raiders get it. I don't know who I picked, but I'd actually like to see the Viking Raiders get it. Because I feel like the Viking Raiders, they kind of missed out on the push because of the whole, like, turning to leave and then the injuries and blah, 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 blah. And I think that they need something to kind of legitimize them again. If they do, they need to go somewhere with it. Plus, I'd like to see those belts get taken off Almost and AJ. And let almost, even though I'm enjoying Almost and AJ together, I want to see Almost and AJ go their own separate ways and see what they can do on the roster as they are. I already know that AJ can excel. I'd like to see AJ go into a proper feud with somebody. And Almost, I'd like to see what he can do solo. Because he's got that attitude, he's got that size, he's got like pretty much all of it down. So I'd be really intrigued to see what he would be like solo. So I would want the Viking Raiders to win that anyway. And the Mysterios versus the Usos, I've already said, I want the Usos to win. Because I want to see the bloodline just dominant. I also like the idea of it causing a few for them to lose. However, right, this whole Mysterios thing. I love Ray, I love Dominic, but Dominic has been made to look so weak in comparison. Dominic needs a push, but not with Ray. Dominic needs to show that he can do this without him. I like this whole father something. It's been nice, it's been lovely. The whole dream thing, I get it. It's been good, it's not been bad. But Dominic needs to be pushed on his own or else he's just forever going to be Ray's son. And they had that chance during the Seth Rollins thing and they never really followed through. That they kept getting beaten and getting defeated and getting knocked down and blah, blah, blah. And Dado's had to come and save him and blah, 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 blah. I want to see Dom rise. I want to see him go somewhere because I feel like he can. He moves incredibly well. His speaking needs to 
develop his mic skills are not the best. He's still very, uh, yeah, and that needs to change. Well, that's the thing, though. You're all saying he's just a kid. If he started to do his own thing, you'd see him develop. You'd see him do his own stuff. You'd see him grow. Keeping him with Ray gives him no chance to do that. I want to see Ray go off and do some stuff. I don't want to see Dom flourish. I think keeping him in the tag team is holding him back. Not that Ray is holding him back as a performer. I feel like it's holding Dominic back in his progress. Dominic needs to go out there and do solo matches and start interacting with more of the roster and really starting to develop his skills. He has a chance to be a very, very good wrestler. But he's only ever going to be Ray's son if they keep him in this for too long, which they already kind of have. He's not going to be that kid who stepped up and, ro and, and rose up. He's just going to be that kid. He's just going to be Ray's kid. He's going to be Ray's son. And that's not okay. Like, it's good that he's Ray's kid. And he shows that he's Ray's kid in the way that he moves, in the way that he does things, blah, blah, blah. And I love the fact that he's got the frog splash as a tribute to Eddie. That's great. And it's a little, like, joke around for us fans, the whole I'm your puppy thing. But at the same time, like, yeah, just let him go do his own thing. Because it almost also, also makes it feel like dad has to be there with everything that he does. And I just want to see him do something more. No, he's making, just making sure he's going to work just and go through and experience. Yeah, like that's obviously why he did the whole build up thing and why they have knocked him down as far as they have and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But I think that they need to, at this point, he's been there for what, a year? I don't know, like, have them go their own separate ways and put him in NXT. Put him in that brand and get him through there. Have something like that. Like, I'm up for that. I'm okay with that. But I think Ray also wants him to train with the greats. And more of the, there's more legends. Well, there's not any, because there are legends in NXT. There are more legends in on the main roster. So I, I just think that at this point, they need to separate. Them. They've done the whole family thing. They've done the championship run. They've got it. They've done it. They can say it. They did it. Great. Cool. Brilliant. Now let, it be, now let them go do what they want to do. Now, now let Dominic become a star in his own right. But I would like to see the Usos win. My concern is that WWE won't let them do their own stuff apart. And if they do that, then they obviously don't give a fucking shit about them. And that will be so fucking disappointing if they do that. Right, so that is Money in the Bank done. That is what I want. That is my predictions for what's actually going to happen. But we'll see if we start sending a match in the next couple of weeks, last month. Yeah, 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 yeah. But let's let's hope they actually do something with that. But yeah, uh, so I said I wanted to show you guys something. So give me a minute. We're not going straight away.
<laughs> I got <on. laughs> I don't know, it's shocking. Right. The yeah, guys are getting to see the brokenness that is my display capture. But I said that one day I would show you this. That I keep quoting a show called Lucha Lucha. If this wants to load, I can't guarantee that it will. <laughs> it does not want to run quickly for me, though. Fucking hell. <laughs> All the screen. Is it showing the display capture when I have it up, by the way? Like, can you see YouTube there? Yes! Davlin can I feel his legs! It's so good. Right. Can you guys see that screen when I have it up? Can you guys see the YouTube? Yeah, I see YouTube. Right, cool. Let's hope this has a fucking bite. You guys constantly hear me do this theme, like, very often, right? Like, all the time. So I'm finally going to show you Lucha fucking Lucha. If it works. Lucha, Lucha, Lucha. Lucha, 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 Lucha. Mucha lucha! Mucha lucha! Mucha lucha! There you go. <laughs> it's so good. You don't understand. It's so good. The flea was the best character. I told you guys about it because, like, you hear me saying "lucha, lucha." Mucha lucha, mucha lucha. I don't know that, like, you keep turning around, you guys keep turning around, so you're going. Yes! Ultimate muscle! Fucking hell, yeah, we're doing that as well. I, I don't even care if I get trouble with these, either, so fucking good. Right. Ah. Yeah. 
big bad boys from outer space. Get a body slam to the human race. Wrestlers race to our defense with strength and speed and flatulence. Heroes join the operation from different planets and different nations. They're the generation to monitor the situation. Catch each and every confrontation. So you get this, you know, you get some money in the bank. Yeah, also muscles, so good. <laughs> See, I got, I'm not curious if we got any stuff with the plate on here. The fighting fish. Oh, my God. Show you why I love the play. Senor Supreme. Come try our new donut with real money filling. <laughs> Lemon donut to be original. Now serving the please special jelly donut with icing and a jelly bean in the middle. See? Eyeballs! Come and eat the eyeballs! <laughs> the flea has shown him. You see, no one is. Come and eat that, please, man! He's so good. <laughs> the play was so funny. This means war. Oh, yeah. It he was hilarious. Like he was actually hilarious. Uh clean legs on just gonna show like this. Can't find that one. Oh yeah, the Union Jack. That's like three minutes longer. All right, I'll leave that one. Uh, but yeah, there you go. I have been talking about it for so long. I have mentioned it on like every stream. <laughs> this probably has changed a number. So it had to be done. I finally had to show you guys mutual lucha. <laughs> Da flea, Camarita, please, Mars. So fucking funny. The flea was great. The flea was the best character. And Ricochet, which often makes me wonder whether or not Ricochet named himself after Ricochet. <laughs> I really hope he did. <laughs> I really hope that he did. But yes, that is Mutual Lucha and that is Ultimate Muscle. If you hear me talk about them, you now know what they fucking are. <clears throat> if you hear me singing Mucha Lucha, Mucha Lucha, Mucha Lucha, you now know what I'm singing. <laughs> I could not resist finally showing you guys that. So, yeah, that is that. Right. We are now going to go on a little raid ski. 
let's try and find somebody to read, shall we? Thank you, everybody, for showing up. Thank you for everyone for being here. Thank you for following. Thank you for all that. If you're on YouTube, like, share, and subscribe, people. Come on. <laughs> and give me a second and we shall find somebody to read. Who's on? Got Masto, Ginger Pimpernel. Hmm. Ah! Oh! Turtle Joshy. He's one of our lads from the uh, thing. Stick around for the raid, people. I shall see you all tomorrow. Bear with me, though. We shall send Turtle Josh here a little raid. Stick around for the raid, people. Get yourself some channel points. Fine. <laughs> I'll see you all tomorrow. See you down the road, people. And it gave a lot of positive feedback to us. So I've got it here that it's a positive, I'm going to take it as a high. But it does.